I wanted to share my first experience of doing a tank refresh in the garden system. I've already turned off the power and I need to dump the water. As you can see, the Hydro Boost definitely helps with keeping it clean. I have taken the time to get the information off of the garden app and provide it here for you so everything is in one place for your convenience. I highly suggest having a dedicated sponge to cleaning hydroponics so therefore you don't have an issue with cross-contamination. Organic baking soda is also more preferable because it is non-toxic with no additives. I will scrub the unit with a little bit of water that I had left over and put the baking soda in and scrub it really good and do a good rinse after I am finished. Reverse osmosis and deionized water is the most ideal for hydroponics. I put the link below so you can see why. Recycle and reusing. I am going to mix the food into the single gallons. It's half teaspoon per one gallon of water. Then I will pour it into the two and a half there. And then I'm going to also fill one more jug with the food because I am trying to achieve three gallons of food with five gallons total of water. Because if you look at the plants, for the directions that are provided on the app, the roots and the vegetation should be at a set level, so therefore you have no issues with burning your plants. I will take that four gallons, pour it into the tank, and then I will finish the final gallon of water through the port that is on top of the system, so therefore I get the proper level. Hydro Boost makes sure you have the perfect pH and helps keep the system clean. Here's the feeding directions per the app. Next time I'm using a funnel, it'll make my life a lot easier. Per the directions, it states to remove the pods that have very little growth because you don't want to burn them by providing more food. I am going to be placing the pods into the greenhouse nursery that Garden has and the accessories. Then, per the directions, it says, do not put water if it's coming out of the system. So what I will do is use a little bit of water that was in the tubes and pour it over. And then I will gently pour out the water and put on the lid for the greenhouse nursery. Top off with the final water to make sure you're at the proper level. Then cap off the unused areas on the system so therefore there's no algae issues. Turn on the system and make sure to refresh on the app. Lock the lid on and thank you very much for viewing today.